Commander Analysis. Alright. Spoiler. We won. Okay, enough of this mumble jumbo. Enough. Watch the game. Game. My team. Okay, what I have to say? Basically, we bliss through it. Yes. Or more like, we just, I would like to say charge. We charge. My entire team charge while I was trying to get the commander position. Basically, the entire team that did, you should pay attention if you are one of those guys that doesn't pay attention at all. Is that fact that if you charge fast enough, how should I say? Fast enough? Ooh, fast enough. Okay. Okay, I'm just mumble off. Anyway, my team basically charged from the lake, captured the lake, and then charged with junkyard before the enemy could set up defense. They did set up defense around the entrance outpost, but the fact that we used our first attack, blitzed through it, right through it, and got junkyard, and brought the tank with us on leg which is not the usual common thinking where there's the enemy the Middle Eastern Coalition enemy mech or Middle East peop faction usually expect them to come through right, like right now on this video like right in the front outpost they don't expect you to come through there when well they didn't that's why they couldn't set up defense and they lost the flag on Junker that quickly that being said, they didn't expect the unexpected. Hmm. The most common military. Expect the unexpected. Hmm. Watch too much military movie. Anyway, we lost Junkyard, but we did get outpost in the process. And then now we're just going through the normal route, which is going to the next flag, my team, that is. What? To find a good team and bad team. A good team is basically a team that doesn't require much help from a commander, like Artie and stuff. Even if the commanders suck, the most of the team will, like, just capture flag for you. If the team that requires commander help majority of the time or tell them to go where, that's basically telling them either the team suck or the team is being been by very very awesome and epic skilled team. I don't want to say that, but usually one team is always better than the next. Well, from my judgment, from my judgment, I'm an average commander. So if my team can just bl like capture flag without much of my help, it means my team is good. Even though we're losing, I can tell whether the team is good or not by the fact that are they pushing forward to get the flag or are they just too stupid to get some other flag if one place is too defended with enemy or into the beehive and they expect it to puncture through it. Well, you can't puncture through a beehive if you don't have enough people to say let's punch through right now with all our might. No, you just stay back and wave around, you know, like that map, you know, the most popular map, strike on Karkan, yeah, that's the map, strike on Karkan, you usually see, usually see the difference in team play to tell which one is better and which one is not, which team is better than the other team or if both teams are, little, are about the same in terms well in terms of teamwork then the difference is in the player skill set if one in one side have better team skill set then mostly that yeah, is it's going to define the winning and you can tell by the number of ticket one side have if you got a majority of the ticket well, you lost the majority of your t ticket. Well, basically, your team suck. <laughs> That's it. Or, I say, having a bad day would be more defining. Worm. 
Anyway, we're now bypassing Junkyard and trying to get a hotel. I think we got Junkyard eventually somewhere at this point in time. Yeah, I think we did. They were mostly clustered around this point. But the other team is basically losing and at this point they're very scattered. I don't know what the... I think the process thinking is defend this area instead of capture. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, I think the enemies right now think defend this area. And our team is basically trying to... A, a squad is trying to get their main base right now. From what I... I wasn't paying attention up there. I was mostly paying attention around junkyard, lake, and outpost and fountain when I scan. I usually don't pay attention to that part so I wasn't paying attention until much later than I saw a squad trying to sneak in up there. Anyway from what I can tell the enemy is mostly trying to defend junkyard. I think they're desperately not sure if they're even trying to they're mostly defending junkyard on their main base in desperation because I don't think anyone ordered them to try to sneak in or to get a flag. I'm not sure if they try lost hope. Sometimes I lose hope when I'm in a losing game. Yeah, and I just stay back at one base and defend. And look at that, we just got hotel. So basically the cluster on Beehive on Junkyard, so that's pretty much tell me what they're thinking. A few of the, I think a few of them tried to get outpost back. Yeah, that's pretty much good. Deduction detective. Anyway, my team just basically blitzed through early and caused a very chaotic, caused a little bit panic I think on the enemy side. They did get back Junkyard in the early game as you saw and we they lessened the defense on outpost a few times and we got the um, outpost I think that's what it's called. I can't see while recording. I have to look at the map while recording. Anyway, you can see the final product but I can't see it right now. Anyway, the game ended with us winning a very large with a large number of tickets still remaining. Lesson learned is the lesson you learn in this game is if they blitz through, you can blitz through, spawn early and blitz through to cause chaos before they can set up defense. 